So this is problem number five on centroid of plane figures. So it is a combination of two different components that is a rectangle triangle and a quadrant of a circle. So first we will draw the reference axis. Reference axis. This is the reference y axis and the reference x axis. And I, I have divided the figure into two components that is right angle triangle 1 and second component is quadrant of the circle 2. Okay, and figure is not symmetric about both x axis, both axis. Okay. We have to find both x bar and the y bar. To find the x bar and the y bar, this is what the table we have. Okay. So here I'll write the units. Mm square, mm, mm, and millimeter cube, millimeter cube. Okay. So before going to do the calculation, we will write x bar and y bar values for each components if I take G1 as centroid of right angle triangle okay what is the formula for x bar here x bar is equal to C it is from the point the x bar distance is coming from the point it is two third of respective distance means two third of B Two third of B. Okay. Two third of B. And Y bar is equal to it is coming from the line. This this distance of G1 no, it is coming from the line. So it is one third of respective distance means H by three. H by three okay x bar is coming from the point two third of b so if it is coming from the point end point it is two third of distance if the distance of g1 coming from the line if it go if, if it is coming from the line it is one third of distance h by three so if i take uh, g2 as centered of uh, quadrant of the circle formula here is 4r by 3 pi and 4r by 3 pi okay now we will do the calculations first component is right angle triangle 1 right angle triangle component number one area of triangle is half into base into height therefore it is half into base is 80 mm 80 mm and coming to the height height of the triangle okay height of the triangle is equal to radius of quadrant of the circle which is it is which is 80 mm so height of the triangle becomes 80 mm okay height of the triangle is equal to radius of quadrant of the circle which is equal to 80 mm so here 80 the area that you get is 3200 coming to the x value means distance of this g1 from y axis reference y axis it is directly Two third of B. Okay. Two third of B. Two third of eighty. It is fifty three point three three mm. Okay. Coming to the Y value means distance of G one from X axis. It is directly H by three. 
h by 3 at by 3 the answer that you get is 26.67 okay now we will do the calculation for quadrant of the circle quadrant of the circle 2 area of quadrant of the circle is equal to 1 fourth of area of the circle area of circle is pi r square divided by 4 will give area of the quadrant of the circle pi into 80 square by 4 the answer is 5026.55 okay then coming to the x value for quadrant of the circle x value for quadrant of the circle is nothing but it is distance of g2 from y axis distance from here to here this is the x value for quadrant of the circle so it is 80 80 plus 4r by 3 pi so here 80 plus 4r by 3 pi which is equal to 80 plus 4 into radius is 80 divided by 3 pi the answer is 113.95 mm 113.95 mm see while uh, while, while calculating you may get difference in uh, the digits are last one number instead of 113 you may get 112, 112 mm okay don't worry, uh, carry forward the same value. Okay, finally, you will get the same answer for x bar and the y bar. No need to bother if you get slight difference in the answers. Okay, one or two numbers you may get difference. Means instead of 113, you may get 112, or instead of 113.95, you may get 113.78, something like that. Okay, uh, if you get those differences, no problem, don't worry. Uh, you just uh, go ahead, finally, you will get the same answer. Because what happens now while operating the calculator, some the sometimes people will directly input as pi. Okay. Sometimes they will type the number 3.142. Okay. There, there uh, you will get the differences. Okay. No need to worry. Okay. Then coming to the y value for right angle triangle it means distance of G2 from reference x axis directly it is 4 r by 3 pi 4 r by 3 pi 4 into 80 by 3 pi the answer is 33.95 mm okay 33.95 3 mm okay now ax 3253.33 it is 170 656.6 and ay 85333.33 here also same thing instead of 85333 you may get 85360 350 something okay no issues okay finally you will get the same answer for x per and the y bar here 572 790.45 okay then total area is a double two six point five five sigma ax is equal to Seven four three double four seven point zero five sigma ay is equal to two five six triple zero point seven five. Okay, now x bar is equal to we know the formula sigma axy sigma a. That is 743447.05 divided by 8226.55. Answer is 90.37 mm. 
and y bar is equal to sigma a y by sigma a 256 triple 0 0.75 divided by a double 26.55 the answer for y bar is 31.11 so this completes the problem so if you have doubts any doubts you can just post your doubt in the comment section so that i can clarify the doubt whatever you have okay thank you